offline or off-piste. Have you ever wondered why some of the biggest online business spend huge sums on direct mail as well as TV, magazine, radio and newspaper advertising? Is it because they have money to burn? No, it's because mass media ads and direct mail can actually draw highly targeted visitors, prospects who are ready to buy. Those big companies with deep pockets use mass media ads to create indelible name recognition in the public's mind. After branding their company into your consciousness, they use direct mail techniques such as postcard mailings to send offers to hand-picked prospects who are most likely to make a purchase. It's strange, but very few online marketers have discovered the power of direct mail. If you make your living from affiliate programs and related upsells, you can bet that your competition isn't doing any sort of offline advertising. And if you think offline advertising is too expensive, think again. Because PPC has become so popular, the cost of high quality online advertising is rising dramatically. It's common for a PPC campaign in a competitive field to cost tens of dollars or more per click, sometimes much more. And you don't even know if those clicks are coming from real prospects or your competitors itchy fingers. In fact, today PPC can actually end up costing as much or more than direct mail on a cost per sale basis. So do the math before you write off direct mail. A mailing of custom colour postcards, for example, can definitely cost less than $5 each to print and mail, and that includes the mailing list. More importantly, you must think about your projected cost per sale when comparing PPC and direct mail. Clicks may be cheap, but customers may not be. All traffic, whether targeted or not, is made up of people. If these clickers are unlikely to be buyers, you'll lose money on PPC no matter how cheap the clicks are. For highly competitive keywords, you can easily end up paying over $10 per click if you want to be on the first page of Google. If you stop and consider who you're selling to, the direct mail campaign may be a better investment. You can target exactly the sort of person you want with just the right demographics and tell them to go to your site where you'll show them an irresistible offer. What about classifieds? With classified print advertising, you can advertise your link in literally hundreds of small daily newspapers for ridiculously small amounts per ad. And classified ads in major national niche magazines can be very affordable too, and usually pull extremely well. These days, television ads may not even be out of your reach. If you enjoy the spotlight, you can purchase leased access time on local US cable television. By federal law, every local cable station must allow the general public to purchase time on their channel in blocks of 30 minutes. Since the costs are also controlled by law, even in large metropolitan areas, a 30-minute segment may cost as little as $500. These days, $500 won't buy you much PPC in a competitive field like mortgages or debt management. You don't even have to be selling to a local market to make a television segment pay. As long as you've got an easy-to-remember link, put a special television offer page on your site. Then offer a high-value upsell free to the first 20 people who respond to the TV special. Finally, don't forget other incredibly simple offline methods of getting your link out there. Instead of a traditional business card, print several thousand with your link in huge letters and leave them anywhere relevant. Don't forget pencils and pens, letter openers and coasters, calendars, t-shirts. Remember, you don't need a brick and mortar location to use offline advertising. It's a big offline world and plenty of people spend more time offline than on. Open your mind to using offline marketing to get your message in front of the right people. That way you can get your link in front of targeted prospects. And when they visit your site, they've actually made a conscious decision to do so.